I remember my reminiscence, one of our first conversations, you told me how you and Deb still, when you go into a beautiful hotel suite or something, you jump on the beds because you kind of were pinching yourselves. Right. Tell me you still feel that way. I, I think you do. A hundred percent. I often really feel for people in my position who sort of get all the perks of this business at age 16 or 17, 18, because you know, I've been in too, slept in too many train stations on trains in youth hostels or whatever camping. I, I will never take a five star hotel for granted. We still jump up and down on the bed. But she also credits her grandmother for who she is today. My grandmother had a giving heart and they say I have my grandmother's heart. And that's where I got my voice from as well. She yeah. shared everything. So I guess I can only attribute it to my grandmother. And that's what it is. It's a gift. And it's not for me. It's to share with others. When you're doing scenes, especially if they're physical, whether it's lovemaking or fist fighting, we have to have trust. And Jennifer and I have a, a great trust and a great friendship. And she knows I don't want to hurt her. And she also knows I can take a punch. So <laughs> <laughs> please tell me you're a proud papa about this. I am an absolutely proud uh, papa at this. I'm very thrilled at really every twist and turn that finally led to us uh, making this movie and the world finally seeing it. It's how I wrote my way into talking to you today. Uh, you know, I desperately wanted a life in musical theater. I didn't see the kinds of roles I could get to play. I started writing my dream show. You've ever foreseen that at this stage of your life, you would be such an incredible action star. Never, never. When I when I became a professional in 1976, I um, I thought you know my my goal would be to be in the National Theatre of Great Britain. I'm here on the New York set of the big budget movie version of the classic children's book Clifford the Big Red Dog. There is lots of fun. There is lots of heart, and there is lots of red. This is Chris's executive producerial debut. Chris, what does that entail? We hear about uh, celebrities being executive producers. What does that mean for you? Oh, and for me, it meant I got to boss everyone around, uh, a real attitude. You get to wear so many hats, and you do them all so well. Is this, is Mr. Corman your baby, in a way? Yeah, I... I... I think that's a fair way to put it. I mean, I'm a dad, so nothing's the same as having a real baby in, in my experience. But what would you say in your in your heart and mind? What do you feel? How old do you feel, Knight? Mm, that's an amazing question, bro. I'll see a classmate of mine or somebody that goes, "Hey, I'll meet some really old dude," and I and I'll be and they'll be like, "I'm like, hi, sir, how to meet you? We went to school together." I'm like, "Oh my god, you're kidding!" <laughs> and I'll be like, "Oh my god, I'm you know I'm this age. This isn't you know. I guess we yeah. You you don't really have a sense of it. My mom says it too. My mom thinks she's a teenager too, so she's kind of kiddie like a teenager." 